The Big Dam Party is wrapping up tonight after a big weekend of celebrations for the opening of Zinc Lake and the Williams Crossing Bridge on the Arkansas River. News on Six's Aaron Conrad is live from Gathering Place to tell us all about the fun that was had. Aaron. Well, Lori, a lot was fun. <laughs> fun was had this weekend, but things are quieting down tonight, although the pedestrian bridge is open until 11 tonight and people are still walking across it even tonight. Now, we don't have the official numbers of how many people came to Gathering Place and Zinc Lake over the weekend yet, but it was hundreds, if not thousands this weekend. From a kickoff parade across the Williams Crossing pedestrian bridge, Music from 16 different bands, including Tulsa's Hanson Brothers. Big Dam Party over Labor Day weekend celebrating the opening of Zinc Lake was a hit. Outgoing Mayor G.T. Bynum remarking on the project 60 years in the making. You voted for it. You paid for it. You built it. You own it. This lake is yours. This weekend had a little bit for everyone. Some Tulsans spent their Saturday running across the bridge for the Big Dam Run, while others spent their time kayaking, rafting, and surfing. Man, this is awesome. Tulsa's deserved this for a long time. I think it's a dream finally come true for all Tulsans. But the biggest star of the show, the giant duck, captivated both adults and kids alike. I told him about it and he was excited to come come see yeah. the duck. <laughs> yes, I, I told him to love the space here. My favorite part was like listening to the music and looking at the big duck, like right over there. And the duck over there was so cool. It was like, it was probably bigger than my school. Well, and you know the weekend is over because, of course, the duck is no longer with us. So that is a wrap for the Labor Day weekend festivities here at the Big Dam Party. And if you haven't come out to see the Williams Crossing Bridge or Zinc Lake, guess what? It's a permanent part of our community. You can come out and check it out anytime. Live in Tulsa, Aaron Conrad, Oklahoma's own News on 6.